Welcome to Rise Up Namobia. So in this video, we are going to be looking at indices part 3 that involves negative exponents law by Medianata aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So let's look at the negative exponent law. Now this is the law. Okay, but for now, I don't want us to focus on the law. I want us to focus on this word, which is reciprocal or re reciprocal. Okay, now what does this word mean? In short, this word simply means flipped numerator and denominator. What do I mean by this? Let's look at an example. So say, for example, you have 2 over 6. Okay, so if you are asked for the reciprocal of 2 over 6, you flip the numerator and the denominator. So the answer becomes 6 over 2. Okay, so this is the reciprocal for this. Now how about when you have 3, just one digit, not a fraction, but just one digit, and you are asked for the reciprocal of 3. Now what you do is, you make this one digit a fraction, okay? So how do you do that? You do that by putting it over 1. Now once it's 3 over 1, the reciprocal for 3 over 1 will be 1 over 3, okay? So how about when you have 1 over 2 and you're asked for the reciprocal for 1 over 2? Now, any number that is over 1 will always be the number itself. So, this was 1 over 2. 2 was the denominator. So, when you reciprocate or you look for the reciprocal for 1 over 2, you get 2 over 1. And 2 over 1 is the same as saying just 2. Okay? Now, let's look at another example. How about when you don't have a number, but you have M or a letter? What do you do? This is the same as this 3. What you do is, you put it over 1, and then you look for the reciprocal. Okay? So the reciprocal is just turning the denominator into the numerator, and the numerator into the denominator. And that is your final answer. Okay? Now that you know that, let's get to the law, the negative exponent law of indices. Now, how about when you have 4 raised to the power negative 1? This basically is the same as this 2, okay? So, what do you do? You put this over 1. To be a fraction okay now remember as it's here it's in the numerator so look for its reciprocal what's the reciprocal for this this will become the numerator will become the denominator and the one will become the numerator now one thing is an exponent that is a negative exponent once you find its a reciprocal it becomes a positive exponent okay so that's why when it was in the numerator here, it was 4 raised to the power negative 1. But once you find it's a reciprocal, now it's 4 raised to what? To positive 1. Okay? So, how about when you have, like you have it already as a fraction. And then that fraction is a raised to the power which is a negative which in this case it's negative 2. How do you deal with this? Now number 1. Ignore the exponent for now. Work with the base. Now remember our base here is within the bracket. It's a 3 over 2. So look for the 3 over 2's reciprocal. What is the reciprocal for 3 over 2? It's 2 over 3. Okay? 
Now, if you find the reciprocal for 3 over 2, this negative 2, which is our exponent, becomes a, a positive 2. Okay? So, hopefully you got it. That each time you already have a fraction, okay, within brackets, and it's raised to a negative exponent, what you do is you find the reciprocal of that certain fraction, and then the exponent will automatically become a, a positive exponent. Now, now that you have a positive exponent, now you can multiply the exponents, you can use the power law, okay? Remember the power law from the first video, which was part 1 of indices? So, what is 2, or let's say 2 squared? 2 squared will give you 4, or let me say 2 raised to the power 2 will give you 4. What about the 3? What is 3? raised to the power 2 it will give you a 9 okay and that is your final answer now if you find this video informative before we check out some extra questions please do hit the subscribe button and the notification button not to miss the next upload okay so let's check out this example how about when we mix it up a bit like this? Now here you have 7 raised to the power 2 divided by 7 raised to the power 5. So what do we do first? Remember the division law. What does the division law state? It states that once the two bases are the same, which in this case are the same, the 7, you minus their exponents. Now, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, go check out the part 1, which I will be putting down in the link below, okay? So, now when you minus or subtract the exponents, it will be 2 minus 5, which will give you a negative number, and that number is negative 3, okay? So, 2 minus 5 gives us negative 3. So, what do we do to the 7 raised to the power 3? We do what we did here. Okay, so you know what we did here is actually the law. So if you follow this law, this will become this answer. Okay, so basically just follow this. Now how about when we use the multiplication law? When you have 8 raised to the power negative 8 multiplied by 8. 8 raised to the power 3. Now, since we have a multiplication sign, we use the multiplication law that states that if the two bases are the same, which in this case are the two 8s here, we add the two exponents. So, this exponent is negative 8 plus 3. What answer would you get? You'll get a negative 5. Okay? Now, since this is a negative 5, guys, the real reason for this law is that we can't work with negative exponents, okay? So we try by all means to change the exponents to become positive. Because we work with positive exponents, okay? So now when you have 8 raised to the power 5, what do you do? You follow the same concept here. You find it's uh, reciprocal. And then your answer would be 1 the 1 is the numerator and 8 is the denominator raised to the power 5. Okay? So, that will be your final answer. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe, turn on the notification button to be the first to see the next video. Share with friends, family and classmates. And remember, together, we rise to higher heights, apart we all stay behind. Cheers.